Hey, good morning. Uh, happy uh, Thursday, I think it is. How's it going, everybody? I'm super excited to be live with you today. I am feeling a little under the weather, um, a little fluish. So I'm going to keep this training a shorter. But as you guys pop on, please say hello. I know it's a little bit earlier that I'm coming live. Um, I usually go live around noon one o'clock. But anyways, I'm super excited to be here with all of you. So as you're popping in, make sure you say hello. Um, like I mentioned before, you probably hopped on. I'm, I'm feeling a little under the weather, but I'm excited uh, to be here. But I am going to keep this a little bit shorter. I'm not feeling so good. I have, um, I don't know, stomach something is happening here. Hey, Lauren. Hi, Sarah. Yeah, as you guys are tuning in, make sure you say hi. Um, and if you're new to who I am, my name is Julie Burke. I'm the founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com. And really what I specialize is helping network marketers, affiliate marketers, coaches, basically home-based business entrepreneurs um, grow and build their business utilizing online strategies, specifically how to create your own brand, um, how to attract people to you, especially if you're in network marketing. Um, and so really that's what I'm going to talk about today. Um, what's up, Andy? Hey, Jennifer. So if you are new to me, I want you to drop me a uh, new in the comments so I could personally give you a shout out, you guys. And um, also let me know where you're tuning in from. I love connecting with people. I, my audience is, is all over the world. You guys, it's super cool. Hey, Chris. Now I know Chris. Chris is in Australia. Australia is in the house. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Um, hey, Kelly, make sure you check your email, girl. I hooked you up. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to talk to you guys about um, the unrecruiting method, if you saw my title, um, because we are always talking about recruiting, recruiting, recruiting inside of network marketing and I get it because I've been in network marketing um, for six years now and when I got started in network marketing it was um, all about recruiting like it wasn't even really talking about customer or customer acquisition or customer retention it was all about recruiting and it's funny because I used to be a recruiter like I used to be a recruiter um, before like before my network marketing life before my fran I used to own a franchise for eight years. I was 23 years old when I bought a traditional business. I know, go figure, 23 years old. And I like, it was so hard. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. But before that, I was a recruiter. And I remember those days of like picking up the phone and literally you guys like just dialing for dollars. Like, I don't know if you've ever dialed for dollars, but it sucks. Like, it's, it's, I'll just put it out there. Like, it's awful. Like, you're hung up on. People are like, oh, like, what, did, what the heck do you want? Who are you? It was awful because there was no real personal connection or, like, really building a relationship. And so I was a recruiter. I don't know how I stuck this out, you guys. Like, I was a recruiter for several years. And I started to learn, um, you know, some really amazing skills. So... When I came into um, network marketing, I did not want to do any sort of cold calling. Um, also prior to network marketing, I was in um, home party. So I don't know, has anybody on here ever done direct sales? Like, first of all, have you ever done cold calling and have you ever done direct sales? If you have, give me, uh, drop me a one in the comments. Just let me know. And if you liked it, um, that's cool. If you didn't like it, drop me like a poop emoji because it, it was crap. Like <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I was hung up on so much. I can't even tell you. I don't even know how I made money. Um, so because of my past experiences, when I came to network marketing, I had to realize, I, I realized very quickly, I didn't want to do the cold calls. I didn't want to do home parties because I was already doing so many home parties and I was, I was, Either I was gone from my, my, my family, you guys. I wasn't seeing my newborn son. I wasn't seeing my husband because most parties, let's face it, they're nights and weekends, right? That's usually typically when people are, are mainly available. Um, and also, I didn't want to make a list. And no offense against the list. I know that lists are great because you, I, I do feel that, and maybe I'll do it, make a, like a chicken list. 
But I didn't do the list of 100 names because I just felt like it was not really the way I wanted to go. Like everyone's building their own business, right? I, for me, I didn't feel like I wanted to just reach out to these people with a hidden agenda. So what I really decided was, and before I even knew what attraction marketing was, was that I want to go onto Facebook and I started using Facebook six years ago before, you know, every, I feel like almost network marketer on the planet started, started using Facebook. However, they were using Facebook the wrong way. Right. And that's really why I started my own training company a year and a half ago in coaching business and mentoring and all that's developed more into online marketing was to just help network marketers understand that spamming is, is not allowed. Like it's just not okay. I don't like to be spam and I'm a network marketer. So imagine that. Right. Um, and I also felt like it gave us an ick, like the profession, just like an icky feeling. And that was something that, um, you know, I wanted to kind, I wanted to end. So I was taught from the very beginning, create curiosity. And so I started on Facebook and I, I did a post and it attracted 45 people. Okay. And it was just a text post. However, nowadays, if you're going to fast forward now, six years later, you guys, Facebook now is not what Facebook was six years ago. So what some of these top leaders are saying and um, a lot of uplines that are making, you know, crazy amounts of money, they're telling you to do it a specific way in terms of home parties and build event to event to event and, and doing cold calls and what have you. Um, but the thing is that our market is so sophisticated now that, it, that, that what worked for them is probably not working for you. And that's maybe why you feel stuck. Okay. So a couple of years ago, I started studying um, attraction marketing. And what I love about it is that um, you're really branding yourself and yourself in like a true authentic way to where you're able to, you know, create these amazing relationships. And that's why people get started with you in your company, either with your product or your business is because they genuinely know that you care and they want to be partnered with you. Okay. So chasing people down is not fun, right? Like, is chasing people down fun? <laughs> um, and I don't think so. Right. So, um, you want, you don't want to keep interrupting lives. That's what I'm saying. And interrupting lives is, you know, if you're going to do a simple reach out to somebody and saying, Hey, listen, um, I really, res I truly respect you. I think you're a great friend or I looked up to you. Um, and I, I found something I'm excited about and I would just be so honored if you would just take a look at it. Um, maybe it's something that you'd like, maybe you'd even like the product side of it, what have you, if you're open to taking a look, I would be so grateful. Do you see how that's different than you messaging somebody and being like, Hey, um, get in my travel month of the club deal. I'm going to save you 60% off of your travel. Um, here's the link, check it out now. See ya. Like it's a totally different, um, it's a, it's a totally different, um, way of approach. It's just a different approach. Like there is way to do a direct approach in the right way. The first way I just share with you is the right way. The second way is the wrong way. But what I want to talk to you today is about the unrecruiting method, the unrecruiting way, because I hear people say recruit, prospect, recruit, prospect. Now, I want to kind of shift your thinking here, and I'm going to break it down into four steps, okay? Um, and so, um, and by the way, if you're finding value in this and you know people that are spamming, that are doing this, and that you see that need help in this department, please share this. Please tag them to this live so we can help the profession as a whole, okay? That's truly why I'm here. Um, I have built a very successful business um, through attraction marketing and through building my own brand and understanding my audience. So step one, okay, is really figuring out who you want to attract, you guys. Who do you want to attract? This is probably the number one step that I see people missing. So for me, if I'm going to think about the opportunity side of my network marketing company and who I'm looking to attract, 
I'm not looking to attract necessarily the people I'm gonna that are unmotivated, people that are Debbie Downers, people that are actually just starting out in network marketing. I actually want to attract somebody that's already kind of been in network marketing. They're just unhappy with where they're at. I mean, I'm just being honest, right? Because they're already open to the network marketing world. So if I'm going to do the product side that I'm looking to get in the minds of my um, target audience, of understanding where they're at. And the reason we do this and the reason why you want to you really want to understand your, your um, I know some people call it an avatar, whatever. You could call it whatever you want. The reason you want to understand your prospect is to really understand how you're going to develop content to share because you know more now than ever, um, and this is no like breaking news, you guys, we're in like this content age, right? It's all about content marketing. And the content that you can really hit people on an emotional level as you're developing that and you're creating those relationships, that's what's going to start attracting people to you. So number one is figuring out who, the who you want to attract and, and, and why you want to do that is so you understand how to move forward and develop your content. However, you're going to spread your content around. You could do it several different ways. Um, I'll get into that in a minute. Okay. Okay. So step two is really then getting inside of your prospect's head. Hey, Isabel, how are you, girl? Um, yeah, if you guys are like finding value in this, again, please share, tag, show me some love, drop me some hearts, okay? So step two is really getting inside your prospect's head. So when you start talking to your prospects directly, and I learned this in terms of like when I started studying copywriting, um, and like for my emails is really talking to one specific person. So just like when you're gonna do your Facebook Lives, when I started out, I started out, cause I was developing up this audience, is I was starting out talking to one specific person and hitting their problems, okay? Um, so what you really wanna do is join the conversation in your prospect's head. What are they thinking about? right now, right? Like what is their pain? So if you're selling weight loss, what is the pain that they're experiencing right now if they can't lose weight? Maybe they're sitting there thinking that they've tried everything. You know, they just, you know, did Weight Watchers or Jenny Craig and yeah, they lost some weight, but once they started, you know, getting, once they started, I don't know, incorporating other things, what have you, they gained the weight back. Or maybe they did a cleanse and they lost the weight, but then they're gaining it back. Or maybe it's that they can't lose weight um, because it's something on an emotional level. Maybe there's some mindset stuff there. Whatever it is, that's how you develop your content and you talk to them and you say, hey, maybe you've tried other diets. Maybe you've done Jenny Craig. Maybe you've done Weight Watchers. Maybe you've done the detoxes. And maybe what you don't need is a diet. Maybe you need a sustainable way of living. Do you guys see how different that is? And a prospect sitting there and they're like, damn, she's right. You know, like I, I am done with this, this diet. Maybe I do need. So what's a sustainable way of living? Well, I need to contact Julie. So I know what the heck she's talking about. Right? So this is what I'm saying. So you have to understand. I'm just giving you one example. You guys, you want to really speak to the emotional benefit of what you're offering and not like what the features are. And I, if you're gonna talk about the business, um, features are comp plan, right? Like, fe like that's what I mean by features. So it, it, that's not how you really attract people to a business or an opportunity. You talk to them about what's relevant to them. What is their pain if they don't get out of their nine to five job? Or I should say lately, you know, I know for a lot of people, it's like, you know, you're gone at seven in the morning and you're not walking in the door to seven at night. Well, that sucks. Like that's 12 hours between a commute, going to the office, dealing with freaking office politics. You guys, I, <laughs> I worked in corporate America for years. I know what it was like to have office politics. If you've been in corporate, drop me a two, let me know and tell me if it, if you liked it or if it sucked, because I'm going to tell you right now it sucked. Um, Dealing with all of that gossip and, and, and drama and some office politics and just all of that. And then dealing with the commute that on the way home, picking your kids up from daycare to get home to then just having to throw fast food on the table because you don't have time to cook. 
to then just turn around and get the kids into bed, into showers, into bed, read them books. By the time you're laying down, it's like freaking 10 o'clock at night. And you do this every single day. So do you see how bad that sucks? So talk to people like that, like really trigger the pain if your target market is nine to fivers. And you know they're nine to fivers, but you're sitting there and you're saying, listen, even though you're a nine to fiver, you're literally out the door at 6.30, 7 o'clock and you're not getting home till seven. So do you guys see how that works, right? All right, so here's the thing. Um, join the conversation in their head, right? Understand where they're coming from, okay? And do that first. Be don't make this a pitch fest, do it first. So as you're developing content and maybe you have this solution, maybe don't hit them with the solution right away, okay? Just have people comment. Have people comment, get them to comment, start engaging with them, and then start maybe having those personal conversations through Messenger. You guys, I use Messenger as a marketing tool like there's nobody's tomorrow. My entire team does. We are using Messenger. It's like on fire. My Messenger is on fire. <laughs> I have so many chats going. It's unbelievable. I have to organize my chats. But the cool thing is, is that at any point in time, I can start this conversation because I don't have to dial their phone number and get them to answer. I can just leave them a message and say, Sue, I saw what you commented on my, my Facebook Live and my heart is breaking for you right now. It really is. Um, I read your comment and I know it sucks because I used to be in corporate America, but you know what, Sue? Like I found something else that actually got me out of corporate. I don't even know. You're probably not even thinking about it right now, but if you're ever open to listening about it, you know, just I'm here if you want to talk. Like it's so everyone goes for the kill and it drives me crazy. You guys like, do you see how easy that is to just authentically reach out to somebody and leave a message like that? But you have to start with understanding your target audience. So you understand the content to then speaking to them. Okay. All right. Step three, pick one platform and please stop going all over the place. Please, I see this all the time. Um, should I be on Facebook? Should I be on LinkedIn? You guys, LinkedIn's not really like a genuine place that you go to have authentic conversations. I mean, I guess you can, but it's more like boom, boom, businessy type. I'll tell you, Facebook has never let me down. Facebook has been an absolute amazing platform to start building these relationships and it's attracting my market to me. Okay, and so building a brand developing those relationships. Again, you could go for the kill on LinkedIn. Maybe you can pull it off, develop the relationship. That's, I know many people, I have not dove into LinkedIn. Instagram, it's not my platform. That I understand it's a younger generation. That's not what I'm going for. Like, so understand where you need to be. I know I have some people on my team that utilize Pinterest and have funnels through Pinterest that funnel people into um, a conversation with them and then right into um, looking at one of our opportunity videos. So figure out what works for you and stick to the one platform, okay? I use a personal page. I also use my fan page in a really big way. It's very leveraged. I love using a fan page to develop an audience all over the world. It's just leverage. Um, I also use Messenger, like I mentioned, uh, which is a tool outside of Facebook. So you want to definitely download the app, you guys. Um, yes, Alyssa is amazing. That's who I was referring to, Eva, with the Pinterest funnel. She's amazing with her Pinterest funnel and she's like perfecting it. It's really cool. Um, okay, and then step four is start um, attracting with a compelling message, okay? And then directing them to the next step. So what is it you want them to do? Is it just that you want them to, um, you know, comment? Is it that you want them to join you in an online event presentation? Is it that you want them to um, message or comment more info? Is it that you want them to message you? You guys, people need to be directed, okay? And so um, start attracting with your compelling message and you do that the fastest, fastest. I told you I'll share of how to spread your content, you guys. You could do it several different ways, but the fastest way to do it, and I know you're gonna like die when I say this, probably most of you, because you don't like doing it, is Facebook Live. Not a video, 
Facebook Live, okay? Facebook Live has grown my audience so fast, and it didn't happen overnight, so please understand this. Um, I get this question often. I, Julie, I know that you build on a fan page and you love the fan page. Should I start a fan page? Yes, you should. However, if your lowest hanging fruit is on your personal page, that's where you go to start doing Facebook Lives because that's what you need. You need a warm audience. And what I suggest that you do is what we do, which is a launch. And it's very, it's been very successful with my team because you do launch and there's a way to do it. I don't have time to get into the whole launch formula now, but you do a launch. And even if you've been in network marketing for three, four or five years, you could always relaunch. You could do several, you could do three launches a year. Um, that's a whole different video. Um, however, I am hosting a live workshop on Tuesday. So I'll get to that in a minute, but really you guys, that's the four steps. Let me recap again. So step one, is figuring out who you want to attract, okay? And that's so you understand the content that you're supposed to share. Most times people get this wrong because they think like, oh, it's about me, no, it's about them, okay? So you need to create the content around, again, who you're looking to attract. Two is get inside your prospect's head. Three is stick to one platform, master that, then you can move all, anywhere you wanna go to another platform or another marketing channel. I like to say marketing channel. I don't like to say platform. Choose a marketing channel. I choose Facebook. And then step four is where do you want to direct them? Like start attracting with that compelling message, but then what's your next step? Okay. And then guide them there. All right. So <clears throat> I'm actually hosting a live workshop on Tuesday. It's brand new. You guys, I'm super excited. Next Tuesday night, I think it's January 30th at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, okay? And it's an online workshop shop where I'm gonna be talking to you how to attract, how to retain, and how to enroll with a simple three-step duplication formula. You guys, it's so awesome. It is how my team, so I started, if you don't know, I started with a new company um, in <clears throat> June of last year. I sat very quiet for a while because I was making a significant income in my prior company. And so it was kind of just, it was a, a weird transition. However, one that was so needed, it was so needed. And so I'm happy to say I finally found my home. Um, I poked holes. I've done everything to this company. I cannot find, truly, I cannot find one flaw about the company. So I sat quiet for a while. However, I was active with my team, but I wasn't launching. I wasn't promoting. So I did my launch two months ago. And in four days, I had, we had 52 rank advancements on my team and I promoted eight times. So would you like to know how I'm doing this? Would you like to know how to build an empire and a profitable network marketing business to where the point of, honestly, I can't even keep up with our team. Our team is growing so fast. And momentum is super important, especially if you want to become a top earner. So if that is you, if you want to learn how to attract so you don't have to chase, how to retain so you don't have to keep chasing or keep, re keep reaching out to people to enroll. Like re retention is super important, you guys. And I will tell you right now, I don't have any worries that my our team is going anywhere. I can tell you. So retention is important and not just for the team, but for customer acquisition. All right. We want these people to stay. We want them to stick. So how to um, enroll, retain, or how to attract, retain, and enroll and duplicate in three simple steps. So if you want to join this, first of all, I would love for you to share. I want you to tag your teams to this because they need to know about this too. But if you want the link to register, um, I have limited seats. I have, I think, 500 seats available. And um, my last webinar I did had almost 700 people on it. So um, you want to be there. And this, again, is a live training workshop, one time only. Um, if you can't make it live, no worries. I'll have a 48-hour replay. I understand sometimes with kids and stuff, it schedules at night. So totally cool. Register anyways. I'll keep the replay up for, for 48 hours. Um, and I will just, you know, dive in with you and give you the goods. If you want the link, I just need you to put link in the comment section here 
and um, my team will make sure to get you the link and I look forward to seeing you on the training. If you had any questions about today's training, um, what I was discussing about the unrecruiting method, which is really all about attraction, like attracting your tribe, attracting the right person to you so you could stop chasing people, so we could stop spamming. Um, this is how I enrolled 23 people this month alone inside of my network marketing um, company. So, um, and it's not just me, like my team members who are also following what I'm going to teach you on this workshop are building a, a big business. Like it's so exciting, you guys. Um, so anyways, I want to make sure that I dish out all the goods to you. And then of course, when building a network marketing business, there's also things like overcoming objections, right? Like how do we do the close? Like how do we do the close without closing? All of that, all of those things, that's everything I'm going to hit upon in, um, inside the workshop. Because it's one thing if you can re attract, in, 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 but how do you get them enrolled, right? We could attract, but how do we get to the enrollment process? So again, uh, be there or be square, right? As I like to say, make sure that you share this with your teams, you guys. I'm telling you, they want to. If you want to grow a big team, share this with your team. Share this with your business partners. Um, so they can learn and I've created seven figures in this business. So I do know a little something inside of network marketing, you guys. <laughs> All right. Until, uh, until Tuesday, I'm sure I'll pop on between now and Tuesday. Um, take care, be blessed and I look forward to seeing you inside the training. Bye guys.